Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? What are their next you know, actions, moves, steps towards you in this connection? Um, oh my gosh, my voice, ah, my throat chakra. But yeah, before getting started with introducing the piles, I do wanna let you know there will be an extended reading up on Patreon where I will go ahead and give you exclusive manifestation advice to see how you can manifest this person um, expedite this connection, see some movement, see some progress. And I will also go ahead and pick initials as well as more love oracle cards to see what else, you know, um, is going on in this connection. And just like, you know, that manifestation advice is going to help. I promise you. Yeah. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with introducing the pile. So here we have pile, um, one with the clear, it's not clear actually, it's the star quartz, okay, star quartz, here we have pile two with the clear crystal quartz, and here we have pile three with the carnelian, so go ahead and take a second to meditate upon these piles and pick one that you are the most energetically drawn to, you can pick based on anything, the angel numbers and the timestamps, the crystals, the properties, it is up to you, but do go ahead and pick based on your intuition, once you have done that, head over to the description box below, where, um, you know, you will find the timestamps, and we will see you in your respective reading. Hi, pal one. You all pick this a beautiful crystal star. So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here? Um, ooh, we got the fool. Wow. Okay. I like this renewed energy. I am filming this um, in the beginning of Aries season, I believe, March 20th, or does it happen on the 21st? Honestly, it, it does feel like a new season. Okay. Um, I am seeing that, and this is a timeless reading, so don't worry about, you know, the actual, like, timelines. This is just, you know, whenever you're seeing this, the messages will apply if you choose to resonate with them. But I am seeing new energy coming in for this connection, newer and better energy coming in for sure. I am seeing that someone is going to be taking a leap of faith. Someone is going to be, you know, coming towards you and um, kind of just being free, like, you know, open-minded. I feel like maybe for some of you, you could have attracted people in the past that were like emotionally unavailable or still hung up on their exes. Maybe yeah, even with this person, maybe that was the case for some of you or, you know, they just were not really ready at the moment to like, you know, kind of be in this connection freely. Maybe there were some like past attachments or something like that. But I feel like this is kind of about having no attachments, like releasing attachments to anything else and just being in this fully. Like, you know, when you're at a new job, um, you're not really thinking about your past internships, right? Like you're just, okay, cool. They helped me get to where I am, but it's like, I want to do this, you know, um, fully. Like I want to, you know, pursue this job. I want to be in this job. Like not, you know, worry about anything or um, anything from the past. The same thing applies to this connection. Hopefully that made sense. Yeah, we also got justice. Wow, I am definitely seeing a lot of, um, you know, good things coming in for this connection. I do feel like if in the past this person kind of like breadcrumbed you or ghosted you, they're going to not do that anymore. I feel like they're kind of done with the whole like exploration phase. Like sometimes, you know, people will like still be in their casual dating phase and, you know, situationships can be painful when, you know, like, you know, they're seeing other people. I'm seeing like they're kind of going from that to like, you know, wanting to settle down with you. Okay. Justice is about commitment, you know, higher levels of commitment, you know, making things more official. So I am definitely seeing, you know, that's something that you're person wants with you i'm seeing that you know maybe this person did explore other relationships maybe you did as well but something keeps drawing you back to them there's no one that you're with that you know helped them forget about that helped um maybe the other people you dated did not help you forget about this person and you kept thinking about this person and you're not crazy because they've been thinking the same thing i feel like you know they'll be around other people and like they'll think about you maybe they'll even date people that look like you but i'm seeing for a lot of you they're not dating anyone but it's like they are really 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 like obsessed with your energy like and not like necessarily in like a weird way but like healthily obsessed like they want to be with you i'm seeing like these other connections they could have pursued have just been really boring they're like they're gonna be really bored and come towards you yeah we got two of wands i feel like you know this person like just never let go of you never let go of this connection i do feel like this person still stalks your social media they do still keep tabs on you and they still are hoping for a future with you like all is not lost i know maybe something could have happened where um you're just like oh my gosh like this person you know is like you know, they're, they're completely over this, like they're completely, you know, something 
tumultuous could have happened in this connection. Maybe you're just like, oh my gosh, they're never coming back. Or um, maybe you feel like they're not coming back because there's like too many options that they've been exploring. I feel, I feel like they eventually will. Okay. Um, we also got the page of cups. Yeah, I am seeing there is a message coming from them to you. There's a message coming on your way about, um, you know, something heartfelt. I feel like this is like a deeper conversation, something that's going to be leading to deeper conversations. I even feel like there's something that happened between the both of you that you may feel is really bad, but it's actually a blessing in disguise because it made the both of you connect on a deeper level. There's something you said to them or they said to you that kind of like changed this relationship. I don't know why, but I'm also getting two of cups energy. I am seeing that maybe for a lot of you, I, I like, I, got the word like husband or wife in my head like I feel like maybe you could be marrying this person I know like for a lot of you are just like wait what like that's it hasn't even gotten that far yet maybe uh, you know down the line yeah I am seeing something to do with two like I feel like you know in two years you could be married to this person or engaged I feel like things can happen really fast okay but I am seeing that things are working out in your favor and if there's something that's triggering you in the 3d and you know you've just started affirming or like you know you've been affirming like, like the 3d is literally just the past so you have to stay like you know um on your self-concept you have to like not give up on yourself not give up on your self-concept yeah um definitely check out my law of assumption playlist for that and i do want to let you know there will be an extended reading up where i will go ahead and pick initials as well as love oracle cards as well as you know give you exclusive manifestation advice when it comes to this connection but i do feel like your energy is like really you know um like it's geared t towards this person if that makes sense my point is like this person and you you do have this like strong energetic bond this very telepathic bond i do feel like this person is a little bit psychic you know and you are also psychic maybe your person doesn't know about these psychic abilities or they're not as tapped into it as you are but they definitely do feel your energy a lot and i am seeing they're going to be coming forward and like letting you know like, they haven't stopped thinking about you i'm seeing this person thinks about you every day and um maybe they think you're like manifesting them or something but it's like they wouldn't even care if you were because it's like um yeah it, it doesn't feel like forced or manipulative like they just genuinely really like you they also think you're really really attractive i am seeing that you know they're also manifesting you i feel like this goes both ways the reason you haven't been able to forget about them is because they have also been thinking about you a lot and i like when i say a lot i mean a lot this person like stays thinking about you and it's like it's kind of like you know if they were pursuing other connections it's a little bit unfair to them because it's like you know, they're thinking of you like they're not even like fully into that connection, no matter what the 3D is showing you. We got the magician. Wow. Like literally as I start talking about manifestation, this card comes up. Um, I am seeing that your manifestations are going to be coming to fruition. I do see this person coming back like 1000 million percent no matter what happened, this person is going to be coming back with this magician card. I'm also seeing, you know, Mercury. OK, so a lot of like communication coming in. There's like two cards that talk about communication three actually like fool magician page of cops yeah this person like can't help but think where things would have gone if they were with you right now okay like this person does feel like you are someone who is worth like you know this connection is worth exploring and i'm even seeing something about like maybe putting you okay how do i say this like not on the back burner but it's like sometimes people will hold off the things that they really like that they really want to be with or the people they really want to be with for the end. So I'm seeing if this person chose someone over you, or maybe it's not even like they chose someone over you. Maybe it's like there's someone else that like they um, dated after you or something. And like, you know, maybe you're just like, oh my gosh, like why are they dating this person? Um, I, f I don't feel like it's going to work out if there's a third party connection. And I feel like they had to date these other people to realize like the bond between the both of you because they can't stop thinking about you. They haven't stopped thinking about you. They know there's something deeper. It's even frustrated them why they haven't stopped thinking about you. I even feel like they had to kind of take action, like, you know, to stop thinking about you. Like maybe they like blocked you on social media or unfollowed you or something. I even feel like maybe this person never thought that you were into them. Like maybe they're just like, oh, this person like probably isn't even into me. Um, and that's why they pursued these other connections. Like they weren't a hundred percent sure whether or not you like them and um yeah i'm just seeing like maybe this person you know like there's something that's happening 
behind the scenes that is bringing you back together. Okay, this is not the end of it. I know a lot of you are really heartbroken because you're just like, oh my gosh, like, you know, they just haven't hit me up or they're pursuing these other connections. Everything that they're doing is leading them back to trust when I say that, like, they can't stop thinking about you. Oh my gosh, we got Ace of Cups. And yeah, the both of you are going to form this beautiful new connection. And you know, the thing is, like, this person's going to be with you fully. This person's going to be fully emotionally invested in you and invested in this connection the way they never were with other people because there's something that keeps drawing them back to you i'm even seeing you know you could have dated other people or maybe you're dating someone else i'm seeing there is like you know uh someone that your person was a little bit jealous of or like they know that you were hanging around with other people they know you have a lot of options they know you have a lot of people that are into you and that did sort of like scare them a little bit or make them a little bit insecure and um that's why they're just like oh my gosh like you know um yeah i have to you know, kind of back away from this connection and maybe they like went off with someone who was easier or like they know that not that many people would like them or something um and like they had not, nothing to be worried about but i'm not seeing their into anyone else yeah but i am definitely seeing a new beginning coming in for the both of you and it's like everything is happening to bring the both of you back together okay yeah i'm like really feeling the energy of this new season here and i feel like it's gonna be very very like abundant i even feel like something could be happening within one month or like within like you know one astrological season from now yeah but there is a lot of love here there's a lot of emotions here and you're not crazy to think that way you know there is like a soul tie between the both of you there is something that has been connecting you and i feel like you know in a way this connection has also been protecting you okay like i feel like maybe you know you're being protected from like the lesser version of this person so if you if they ghosted you or something like that's because they weren't ready to be with you and like the universe literally wants to protect you from like the lower vibrational version of themselves okay sometimes when things don't happen the way you want them to happen it's because there's something better coming and i'm seeing there is a better version of this person coming like i said like they're not like you know really in the mood to like be committed right now like even if they're with someone else and you feel like oh my gosh they're getting serious they're really not like they still kind of you know like keep an eye out for other people or have a wandering eye but like um with you that's not gonna happen i'm seeing like you have the power to make this person be completely loyal to you okay um and like i said they're improving they're changing so they can be the best version of themselves for you but right now i'm seeing if they are with someone else they're not the best version of themselves at all and it's actually really unfair to them because this person still stays thinking about you but like i said i'm not necessarily seeing there's a third party but it's just like this fool can sometimes have to do with like exploration and, and adventure and kind of just like testing out options but uh, the cards that followed that tell me otherwise okay like even two of wands you know this could have had to do with like you know juggling options but i am seeing like with this justice card like you're going to be getting what you want out of this relationship out of this connection okay i feel like everything is working out for your greater good like you are going to be with someone you genuinely like that you some someone you genuinely feel for because you don't have to settle for someone you don't like i feel like a lot of the people that are coming your way maybe you're just like oh my gosh they're great people they're great partners but you're still stuck on this person's energy and you don't have to be with other people just because they're better for you even if you're not into them but i am seeing like you know there is someone else coming your way maybe this could be another person from the past that you had a deep connection with and um, i'm seeing you're gonna end up with who you want but i am definitely seeing you're also gonna have options because I, I just kept hearing the word options and it's more that you have options on your side like you have way more options than this person but either way you're gonna end up with someone you really like whether it's with this person or someone else but i do see for the most part for a lot of you like it's the energy scales are tipping to this person if that makes sense yeah um but if you are trying to manifest this person or just manifest love you know um expedite some movement connection progress check out the extended reading the link to that will be in the description box below it's going to be on my patreon it's five dollars a month for unlimited readings um i will pick initials love oracle cards and yeah like i said give you exclusive manifestation advice but let's go ahead and pick some other cards to see what other messages we have you appear often in my dreams i am so grateful i met you are you sure you are real yeah this person is like i feel like they thought you were too good to be true okay like i feel like they kind of like put you on the pedestal and thought you were a little bit out of their league and that's why they kind of like you know ghosted you or um maybe didn't talk to you as much i'm not even saying they necessarily ghosted you it's just like the conversation ended or something along the lines of that but they did feel a little bit intimidated i know a lot of you are sitting here thinking like oh you know i'm not good enough i'm not worthy enough that's what this person's thinking i feel like if you feel that energy it's actually their energy you know you can like just you know affirm that they are secure enough to be with you okay there's a spoiler alert on the um 
manifestation advice I'll give you, but you have been showing up in their dreams a lot. They have been thinking about you. And it's like, if they do contact you, it's going to you know be their idea. Like even if you are manifesting them, they're going to do it because they want to. So I'm seeing like, they are definitely going to be coming back. I do feel like this is going to be turning into something more because this connection, you know, with this magician card has everything it needs to like, you know, succeed, thrive, prosper. But again, this person kind of needs to work on being a better version of themselves. And I feel like you're also healing and everything's like bringing the both of you back together. So yeah. Anyways, I will go ahead and end the reading right here. I really, really hope this helps. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have for you in your reality. I also um, offer in-depth hero readings as well as manifestation coaching and I also custom make subliminals. So if you are interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you can sign up for them. And yeah, I will end the reading right here. Thank you so much. Love and light. Hi, pal two. Welcome to your reading. You all pick the clear crystal quartz. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What are they thinking? Where is this headed? And more. Okay, so um, yeah, let's see what the cards have to say. Ace of Swords. Wow, I'm seeing communication coming in already off the bat. Um, they have been thinking about you a lot, like crazy. It's like kind of intense. They're just like, what is going on here? Okay. Um, I am definitely seeing that this has been something that has, you know, been on their mind for a lot. Like they've been wanting to reach out to you, but I'm also seeing they've been exercising a lot of restraint, which is a good thing. Okay. Like I do feel like, you know, this person wants to come forward, reach out to you. They do want to, um, they do want more with you. I feel like, you know, this is something that they've been thinking about for a while. And it's like they have been holding back. But it's like, eventually, like they're going to be receiving so many signs to reach out to you that like, they're not going to know what to do. Like they are going to be reaching out to you for sure. But it's like they've been thinking about something a lot. Let's go and pick some clarifying cards because you can only tell so much with one card. Um, Knight of Cups. Okay, they've been thinking about making you a love offer. Okay, so I am seeing with this Knight of Cups, um, things have been a little bit slow. Okay, this is not the slowest card. That's actually Knight of Pentacles. But I am definitely seeing this person does have feelings for you. I know a lot of you are just like, Oh my gosh, I'm probably not their dream person. Because if I was, they'd be prioritizing me you are you are okay but it's just like you know they're kind of closing out karmic cycles or even karmic relationships or something okay they know that they weren't really able to give you the you know emotions or they weren't able to provide for you the way that you deserve um in the past when you were together okay that's why you went into the separation or maybe you are still talking to this person maybe there is still some contact but um yeah it's just like this person knows that they're not really in the best state of anything I was gonna say mind and heart to like give you an offer but like that was in the past I'm seeing though this person is opening up more I am seeing this person is um becoming more emotionally available like for you like, I feel like you know they they realize there's no one else they want to be with except you and maybe for a lot of you you felt like okay you know you were kind of an option or something like that but I feel like they realized that you're the only one that they truly truly want to be with okay I do feel like this is someone who is like monogamous like maybe like when they're in their casual dating phase like you know they'll date like multiple people to kind of see like who they like you know what's working out for them but it's like they've always had you in the back of their mind there's no one else that like you know they felt that deeply or intensely for and I'm seeing they could have gone on dates with other people but it just didn't work out the way that they wanted it to work out with you okay and yeah it's like if someone's been on the back of your mind forever like you know it's that's one of the reasons like they're not official with anyone else right now maybe like for a lot of you unless you know they are I'm seeing they're not seriously dating anyone else or they're even with anyone else because there's something that keeps drawing them back to you okay and um yeah I'll go ahead and pick some more cards, but I do want to let you know there will be an extended reading up where I will give you exclusive manifestation advice on how to manifest this person, see some movement. Okay, it's going to be very self concept based because that is what I talk a lot about on this channel. And I will also go ahead and pick initials in the extended reading. Yeah, but let's go ahead and pick some more cards. Yeah, we got the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I am definitely seeing this has to do with manifestations coming to fruition, you getting the fruits of your labor, like your hard work paying off. Okay, I am definitely seeing, you know, this person has a lot of of love for you and you know they want to be able to really show that and I'm seeing that like at the time they weren't really ready to commit or be in something committed and that's not your fault okay and let me tell you like this person just had a lot going on you know in their life they were really busy they were and still are really busy with their work and career but they are eventually going to be coming back to you this is a connection that they have not been able to forget or let go of and trust when I say it really had nothing to do with you um 
we got the page of cups yeah i'm definitely seeing a message coming in. i've been getting the page of cups a lot i, I hope i shuffle my deck well yeah i'm just gonna reshuffle it because some of these cards are from pile one but yeah page of cups oh we got the emperor at the bottom of the deck oh my gosh okay um i am definitely seeing an offer coming in a love offer coming in um a love message coming in this person is going to be pursuing you like before i'm seeing a lot of chasing um on their side okay like this person i feel like um they want to be with you there's no one else that they want to be with and i know that like when they're with you like there's no one else they think about okay and maybe for a lot of you if you're doubting they're with other people i don't really think they are and again if they are it's not serious and it's like you know you don't like that that person doesn't even compare you no one holds a candle to you okay you never have to be worried about you know anyone else because this person literally has not stopped thinking about you they think about you like crazy like it's like you're on their like you live in their mind rent free and they're just like what is going on you know um yeah but i am definitely seeing something to do with the number four four days four weeks um, airy season because i am actually filming this during then but this could be happening this is a timeless reading okay maybe it could have something to do with the aries new moon or full moon from whenever you're watching this but i am definitely seeing something major something significant is going to be happening in this connection sooner than later and it's like maybe for a lot of you if you're worried like oh if they get with you are they going to be thinking about other people no they're not because once they get with you they're not going to be keeping tabs on anyone else because i feel like they you know with you it's like or if you know they were to be with someone else right now it's like they can't stop thinking about you it's like even I got a similar message in pile one, but it's like a little bit unfair to the person that they're with because they're not even sure about that person. But I'm not seeing they're with anyone. Like this is more of like a metaphorical, um, you know, what if, okay? But like my point is, this person is going to be coming to you with no other attachments. Like they're going to be over their ex. They're going to be over everything else. They, they don't want to explore more. They, they, they just want you and only you, okay? Because you are their dream person. You 100% are. I feel like maybe it took them a little bit to like realize that or maybe it took other connections for them to realize that maybe for you too because I am seeing you definitely did explore I, I'm seeing that maybe for a lot of you you weren't like you were into this person yes but uh maybe you are the type of person where it takes some time for you to really like someone or realize you like someone and um this person has been on your mind throughout like you could have been hanging out with other people but there's you know, you were thinking about this person a lot. Yeah, and that's because they've been thinking about you. They, it's a little bit of like obsessive energy here almost. This person, I'm seeing something new with like, um, I don't know why, but I'm telling like Scorpio energy. Yeah, definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Someone could have like a fixed sign moon or something. Um, yeah, I'm seeing Aries energy, Virgo energy, um, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, we got seven of cups. Yeah, so this person did have options, but you have more options and they know you have a lot of options and that intimidates them and they want to be the only one in your eyes, but they're also scared that maybe you won't be the only one in their eyes because, um, yeah, you're very, very, very freaking attractive. Like you you know there's a lot of people that are into you, that care about you, um, that want to be around you, that keep tabs on you, okay? Like, this person is, like, borderline, like, you know, obsessed, okay? But, like, not, like, in a bad way, but it's just, like, this person wants you really bad. Oh, my gosh, we got the two of cups. Soulmate connection right here. Soulmate connection, past life connection. You definitely knew this person before. Like, your souls felt familiar. I feel like you have a lot of connections from past lives, okay? Um, If you were to do, like, your oh my gosh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like, this is cardomancy. I did go to a, a psychic a while back and she had a really interesting way of doing a reading. Instead of picking tarot cards, what she would do is like enter your birthday, um, birth date onto this like online like calculator type thing. And it, she like calculated your fate or destiny from that. It was more of like a birth chart reading, but it's like, uh, it had cards too, like, you know, like playing cards, like you know, spades, aces, clubs, wands, or sorry, diamonds. Yeah. But um, my point is like you and this person, like you're meant to connect in this life. I really do feel like this person was a big part of your journey. And like, maybe this person doesn't even have to say much or do much. And you were the one that, you know, they were watching all along. And it's like, you had no idea what was really going on in their life. Although you did probably stalk them on social media, but it's like, there's something more between the both of you. And I really, really feel like, you know, you're meant to reunite with this person in this life or um, something's going to happen in this connection. And it's going to lead you to like, just 
fulfillment. I'm seeing this is a very fulfill, fulfilling connection. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to provide for you. I'm seeing like, you know, a boost in finances. Even for you, I, I really like giving messages about like the person who's watching in other aspects of their life. So I really do feel like your finances are going to be increasing in this person. You know, kind of everything's going to be happening at once. You're going to be blowing up like maybe on social media or you're going to be getting a raise or promotion and something good, something big is going to be happening and like they're going to be coming back. Okay, like and at, at, around the same time, like you're going to see like a flurry of abundance and manifestations coming your way. But I am seeing with this Ten of Pentacles, this does have to do with getting more serious and moving in. And I do see like that's exactly what this person wants with you. Six of Wands, victory, success, achievements. This person wants you. They want to be around you. They want to be around your energy. Like they literally cannot stop thinking about you. And I'm seeing like you're someone that they're going to change for. Like, you know, I feel like you've changed up the game for them like they became better people because of you and um maybe they became a little bit more like you know true to themselves or found themselves on a deeper level because of you because you know that's something you've been doing and like that energy has been sort of like rubbing off on them you leave a very positive impact wherever you go okay and like this person does not want to let you go I feel like they're going to be doing something to win you over or win you back because with the seven of cups they feel like you know maybe there's other options that you have and it's like they want to win but like the thing is I'm not necessarily seeing this person as um like they're not going to do it in like an egotistical way. I do feel like they have some ego and at times they do get a little bit like jealous. Okay, actually this person is a really jealous person. I have been seeing that um, coming up in your reading, but it's like, you know, this person like won't act impulsively or maybe like they used to do that, but they don't anymore. Like they do exercise a lot of self-control and it's like, instead of acting that way, you know, maybe maybe this person is the type of person to like pursue other connections to kind of forget you or get over you. But it's like, you've they've been thinking about you the entire time. You know, there's no one else that they like really, really feel that deeply about the way that they do with you. And I feel like, you know, this person, like they're going to be coming back. I feel like they're just going to be like, I, I can't stop thinking about you. Like I have to be with you. I want to be with you. And, you know, something that I'm seeing is you have to be really, really confident when this person comes back because this person loves confidence. Okay. I do feel like they like people that are really secure and it's like, it's okay to have insecurities at times and be your true self. Like I, I do feel like this person likes it when you, um, you know, you're really emotional and you speak from the heart and they do think you're really smart and you have a lot of depth. Okay. Okay. But it's like, you know, this person also like, you know, admires a lot of confidence. So just be the most confident version of yourself. And, um, you know, that's even something you can say, I am the most confident version of myself. I'm so magnetic. I'm always chosen. Um, this is just a preview of what you're going to see in the extended reading where I will give you exclusive manifestation advice on how to manifest this connection and see some movement here. Okay. And we got the queen of cups. You are like, you're someone that they have to be with in this lifetime. Okay. You're, you're someone that invokes these deeper feelings and emotions within them. And you're not crazy to think that, you know, there is something deeper between the both of you, even if this was short lived or you know you haven't been like seeing much of them or whatever um you know but yeah this this connection is there it's real and they are coming back okay as much as you can just let this person reach out to you let them pursue you okay you can definitely manifest them manifesting them is not chasing them by the way okay um again with manifestation you create your own rules so if you you can even create a rule that every time you think of them they think of you you don't have to like stop wanting them for them to come back that is a huge limiting belief check out my law of assumption playlist where i talk about all this but yeah um, I will go ahead and pick some love oracle cards to see what other messages we have here. Yeah, we got you make me feel like a kid again. Yeah, I feel like this person definitely had this like cute, goofy side to themselves that you really fell for. And um, they they like that you're really quirky too, okay? And they they like that you're, you know, just fun and good natured and fun to be around. We also got thank you for being so patient with me. Yeah, I feel like you have been really patient with them. And yeah, they're going to be coming back. We got the page of cups, knight of cups, queen of cups. And you know, we didn't get the king of cups, but we did get the emperor here. So I really do feel like for a lot of you, you know, um, it's like this person, like they're, they are going to be changing for you. Okay, I feel like they kind of like went from being like, you know, a lower version of themselves to a better version of themselves, you know, because of you because of like, the love they feel for you. And like, just, you know, they do value you so much. They they, they want this connection to really go somewhere. And I'm seeing like, it's not over, like saving the best for last. I'm even seeing that maybe if this person did pursue other connections or you pursued other connections, these connections are going to make you find your way back to each other, if that makes sense. Okay. So yeah, I will go ahead and end the reading right here. You can definitely check out the other piles. I also offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching and I also custom make subliminal. So if you're interested in that, check out the description box below where you will see my website and you will see um, all those options on there. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Love and light.
Hi, Pile 3. You all picked this Carnelian. So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here. So yeah, let's go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on. Um, we got the Nine of Cups. Wow. Emotional fulfillment. Okay. There is a deeper connection between the both of you that I feel like you haven't even touched upon just yet. Like there is this, you know, connection in the energetic realm that is just so deep and so intense and it's been like siphoning off in this you know to the 3d realm but i'm seeing that it just it didn't take off like completely the way that you wanted it to because it's nine of cups it's not exactly a ten of cups but the point is like there's so much unexplored potential what i'm seeing here I, I keep getting the words like unfinished business like the both of you are meant to be in this connection you're meant to be with each other um but it's like you know they, they need to find themselves a little bit more. You're working on finding yourselves, but you will eventually get back together, okay? I am definitely seeing there's a lot of positive movement happening in this connection. There's a lot of, like, good things coming in for you, for this connection. They feel like um, you're someone who invoked these deeper feelings within them without even, like, really talking to them that much. I, I just feel like this was very short lived. And it's like, you know, maybe it only lasted a couple months or like even, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't even know, this is gonna depend maybe for some of you, it was like a couple years or something. But it's like, there, there's more there. I keep hearing there's more like it's unfinished business, they are coming back to you. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of positivity is coming your way, a lot of abundance is coming your way in this connection and like this is emotionally fulfilling this is not just physical it's not like this person was just like you know using you for um like you know physical reasons or surface level this is like deeper than surface level okay there's a lot of love here we got the tower yeah i do feel like there's been this intense tower moment oh my gosh i am getting excited because i really want to see what the cards after this are I'm definitely going to go ahead and pick clarifying cards but there has been this tower moment that kind of shook up everything like it was intense and i feel like you know maybe like you kind of like started eating a little bit less or um you know like you're just like what is going on like you just you felt like so numb and you know you're you know but you're you're growing from that like this connection really helped you grow I feel like this incited another spiritual awakening or maybe you were on your spiritual awakening and like that led to this something to like do with you stepping into a newer higher better version of yourself like there's been this like intense transformation that's been going on within you, you know, because of this connection, this connection triggered you, it triggered the heck out of you in a way that like maybe no connection in the past has, it made you focus on self love and self concept more than ever. Okay. And I see that like this tower moment, it's not the end of it. It's like the worst has already happened from here on out. You and this person are only going to be living a peaceful life together. Okay. Um, but with this tower moment, what I'm really seeing here is, you know, um, destructive energy. I'm even seeing earthquake. It's so crazy because like, I just saw the news, like there was an earthquake in Ecuador. I really, really hope like, you know, if anyone's watching from there, they're safe. Like I, I was going to go to Ecuador and I didn't because there was a tower moment that happened in my own life that kind of shook up certain things. And it's like, you know, it, I was like, I don't think I want to go on that trip anymore. Like I canceled that trip or like, I just, you know, it was crazy how that worked out, but I'm really seeing that you're being protected. Okay. You're being protected like crazy and you should be really happy. You should be really thankful for everything that's going on. I'm even seeing something about, you know, past lovers, past exes coming back or giving you attention. Okay. Um, but I am like, th there's something intense that's been happening that is happening for your greatest good. And it's like this tower moment, like you're rebuilding yourself entirely like completely like you know how they say when you turn 25 like your prefrontal cortex is supposed to be fully developed and you basically become a new person that's what i'm seeing is happening here like you're becoming a new person because of like this connection like you're you know you're elevating you're growing you're healing and i'm seeing that for a lot of you this person is going to be coming back and you know you really really want this person and they want you but i'm even seeing that you know when this person comes back for some of you maybe like there will be someone else that you will have moved on to or maybe there's someone else from the past coming back as well but regardless this person is going to be hitting you up and i feel like when this person comes back you're not going to be as attached to them anymore not i'm not saying you have to detach to get them but it's like um this connection has made you like really um what do you call seek self-love now more than ever like 
you're going to like love yourself more than you ever did before. You're going to be more abundant than you did before. You're going to have such enriching, beautiful life experiences more than you ever did before. Like there's a huge, intense transformation going on. You guys, I have not done a reading like this in a while. Okay. I feel like, you know, I'm kind of going through my own spiritual awakening. It's crazy because I went to Guatemala and I went to the Mayan market and that changed up something for me. Like, I don't know what it was. Like uh, I got a lot of crystals from there and it's like, something bigger better things came my way and it's like or like you know the connections that I had like it got stronger or renewed and you know there's people from like uh, the past that came back for me and like gave me like you know like the validation that maybe I wanted at the time but like I kind of let go of and the, and yeah like I'm seeing people are going to be fawning over you but I'm definitely seeing sorry my mic <laughs> um oh my gosh I it's just that in energy is so intense here, you guys. Like I'm at a loss of words here, but this person definitely does like you and they're really passionate about you and they 1 billion thousand percent are coming back. You know, you can even meditate with Carnelian. I remember in um, 2020, Carnelian TikTok was like so big. Like, you know, people were buying Carnelian bracelets to like, you know, be magnetic and attract people from the past. And I'm really seeing that's exactly what's happening here. And I'm seeing that, you know, a lot of you are breaking through like negative cycles or patterns. Like maybe a lot of you tend to draw connections in a way that kind of hurts you. I know for a lot of you, you're just like, oh my gosh, you know, this connection was really triggering because I felt rejected by this person because, you know, there was another person in the past who like, you know, ended up choosing someone else over me. You can't think that way because that's not true. I'm seeing that for a lot of you, you're kind of doing that out of self-pity because it feels safe. I'm not seeing this person chose anyone over you. Believe it or not, like you, no one has chosen anyone over you. It's your own mind that was, you know, creating that. And like, don't fall, don't fall into like the false 3D. I feel like a lot of these things are illusions. Okay. And I'm seeing that, you know, um, there's a lot of people in the past who still think about you. I feel like, you know, even if someone did choose someone else over you um, in the past, like they, like they, they couldn't fully commit to that person because they always had you on their mind. It's like Selena Gomez, Haley Bieber. Ju uh, yeah. Justin Bieber. Justin never got over Selena. We know that, you know, I, at least that's what I believe. And it was kind of sad for Haley. Like, yeah, she got the wifey title, but it's like, they're not happy. Just look at the media. I mean, I know like social media doesn't always like, you know, show you the truth, but it's like you look at Justin and Selena's videos from like when they were dating and then you look at Justin and Haley's videos and oh my God. Yeah, I, I, I really feel like this person could be dealing with the karmic or some sort of negative energy around them um, that they're going to be fed up of. Like this person is not into that person whatsoever. Like they still stay thinking about you. There's just something about your energy. Okay, I'm even seeing that there's a lot of like passion. There's a lot of like, like sexually charged, like intimate, like, you know, um, passion that's coming through in this reading. Like they think about you in that aspect too. And it's like, um, they're really freaking attracted to you. Okay. I know the tower, you know, it's an intense card, but I'm also seeing like intense, major, like major attraction, major passion here. Okay. We got the high priestess. Yeah, this connection is happening a lot in the spiritual realms, in the 5D, in the 4D. And you have been elevating so much and you've been seeing like, you know, semblances semblances is that the right word or just signs of that okay and i know for a lot of you you're used to thinking really negatively but you have you can even you know spiral upwards you can positively spiral like you know a lot this person has been communicating with you through like spiritual realms and you know signs okay you maybe you could be seeing their birthday their car model um their you know zodiac sign or something that you talked about and that's a sign that they're thinking about you they do think about you like crazy and it's like they have not been able to shake this connection off and yeah i was like waiting to see what the card after the tower would be and we got the high priestess here you know i'm seeing like this um person has not stopped thinking about you this person has not stopped you know um like wanting this connection to happen wanting this connection to go somewhere and it's like you are still connected in these other realms and also i just saw a green truck outside which it's not even like a trash truck it's like a random truck i don't even know what it is um so maybe you could be seeing that yeah or like green cars or something or like lime green cars yeah but i am seeing like this person thinks about you so much and it's like this connection has been really intense for them. And, you know, it, it's not, this is no joke. This is no joke. Every time they spend time with you, they feel something intensely for you. And I know a lot of you are like doubting your own worth, whereas really you're this high priestess energy. I know you're just like, oh, this person doesn't even think about me, this, that, they chose that. Like, don't self-pity yourself, okay? Be, a, be the most confident version of yourself because trust me when I say this person does think really highly of you. They do um, see you in this really positive light. And I'm seeing that for a lot of you, you're kind of like acting out of like, you know, your past self. And like, you know, if you really want change, 
change. If you want to see some major movement in this connection, you have to start like, you know, um, connecting with your higher self. Like that's what I'm saying is really going to help bring this connection back to you and bring this person back to you. You're going to love yourself in a way that like you never have before, like radical self-love. Yeah. And um, I do want to let you know, there will be an extended reading up where I will be giving you exclusive manifestation advice to see how you can, um, manifest this person okay um and i will also go ahead and pick initials as well as more love oracle cards but i am definitely seeing like you and this person you're getting closer than ever and you are going to reconnect with this person 1000 percent. this tower moment is just something that's meant to bring you closer but what i'm seeing is like you know don't self-pity yourself don't stop like you know say don't keep saying things like oh they don't want me they don't want this you know in the past i've not been chosen you are chosen you are worthy you are their dream person you can change that if you manifest a version of them that you know wasn't giving you the time of day that was ghosting you this or that you can manifest another version of them okay yeah we also got queen of wands yeah i'm seeing oh my gosh this person is so passionate about you they haven't stopped thinking about you they still like you know um fantasize about you a lot they still have like a lot of you know really deep feelings for you and really um it's it's more than just physical like i the attraction card definitely was a big part of this connection but it did you know enter into like the, the you know love realm spiritual realm like the you know intense emotions and feelings type realm okay um five of cups this person has been heartbroken without you oh my gosh like this person like feels the void without you in their life um and it's like they're not over you and they 100% are coming back. I feel like they really try to fight themselves. Okay, I'm seeing like an inner conflict. And it's like, you know, this is also just about kind of dwelling on the negative, dwelling on the past, like spiraling, not feeling good enough. And it's like, you know, the three cups that are down, like they're focused on like, you know, um, the things that didn't work out or like, I'm just seeing like, you know, if they're, oh my gosh, I just saw like a red, blue and like green car next to each other. And it's like, I always see like gray cars and like, you know, really like typical colored ones if you see like weird colored cars really unique car that's a sign that your manifestation is coming to fruition even like a pink car um yeah but i am definitely seeing like with this uh five of cups they have not stopped thinking about you and they do want to be with you and they do want to be around your energy for sure okay yeah but let's go ahead and pick some more cards in terms of the signs i am seeing water sign energy cancer pisces scorpio fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius what if you could have you know at least one of these placements in your big three that could be a sign that this is your reading um we got i love you there is nothing but love from this person okay this person does have unconditional love for you so many things remind them of you it's crazy like they literally have not stopped thinking about you they do think like you know you're someone who is a very very um unforgettable i channeled that song unforgettable by french montana oh my gosh yeah this person like loves you a lot okay so don't even stress about this connection this person is coming back and they're coming back in a better way okay like i feel like maybe if you're not with this person right now it's okay because they're not the best version of yourself and when they do come back they are going to be the best version of themselves and they're going to be better than ever okay so yeah i will go ahead and end the video right here i really really hope this helps and you can check out the other piles and yeah check out the patreon for extended readings and um i also offer end up tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching all of these options will be on my website and i will see you all next time Thank you so much. Love and light.